What's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to do five uh, rotoscoping effects in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, they're very, very simple. Uh, it's super easy to do. Um, the first one's going to be a glitch effect. Second one's a ghosting effect. Third one is a scan lines. Fourth one is vortex. And the last one is just like this overlapping effect. Um, it's super, super easy. Um, so just follow along and I'll show you how to do it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate your clip and then go to the color tab and go to the magic mask. Uh, you want to drag this marker all the way to the beginning and draw a line on your subject. Uh, then you're going to hit the play button and it's going to track uh, your subject and uh, yeah it'll automatically detect the edges. Uh, you'll want to switch that to better and that's it'll it'll outline your subject very um, very sharply um, this works best when you have like no camera movement going on because uh, it doesn't have to like detect the camera movement as well uh, and that goes for your subject too so if you do like a slow-mo clip it's gonna be a lot better than uh, like a sped up clip so now that you have it tracked you're gonna go over to your color tab and you're gonna add alpha output so right click add alpha output and then come up here and you're gonna duplicate your clip clip one more time you're then gonna go to the effects tab and find digital glitch scale up your clip and you get this really cool digital effect where the subject is in the foreground but you have like his body glitching across the screen a little bit uh, it looks cool because it doesn't like take like artifacts from the background it just takes artifacts from him uh, so that's pretty cool so the next one you're going to take your second layer and you are going to scale it up to about 1.3 um, this one's super simple and then you're going to drag on motion trails There's not much customization. You just kind of adjust the trail length and the drop-off and you can get some kind of cool ghosting effects uh, It'll delay it a little bit not a total not a ton, but uh, it looks cool for a very quick effect All right for this next one you're gonna take your second layer and turn it into a compound clip and then you are going to go to the effects tab and drag on scan lines then you'll uh, scale up your second layer and you'll get this really cool like overlaying effect and then turn down the opacity uh, then you can change the composite mode to divide and darken and overlay and screen and you get these really cool like it's also another ghosting effect but it's not delayed with the motion trail it's just kind of scan lined this next one here is pretty popular. Um, you're going to take your second layer, turn it into a compound clip, and you're going to drag on vortex, and then you're going to turn the size and angle up and adjust it to your liking. This one's really up to you. You just kind of keyframe it. Um, a lot of people use this one. Um, this is one that you can do in After Effects as well. But uh, this is kind of the same thing, but in DaVinci Resolve. Uh, super simple. It's just up to you however you want to customize it. Then for this last one, you're going to take your three layers, you're going to duplicate one of them, and you're going to just scale up and change the position of the three lower la uh, layers that are in the middle, and just leave your top layer unadjusted, and you'll get this like really cool like duplicated effect of the body um, without the background getting kind of slid over. Um, this is pretty co uh, common in like NLE Chopper videos. Um, you can rotate it and do all these things uh, depending on how good the track is and the mask is done the better it's gonna look but this one's like cool you can animate it and slide them to the left slide them to the right you can slide them up into frame you can slide them away out of frame but it's really just up to you so thanks for watching guys uh, make sure you like comment subscribe uh, follow me on my socials and uh, thanks for watching